I present Captain B.J. Honeycutt. <laughs> what say you, ferret face? <laughs> BJ stand for? Anything you want. Uh, howdy, stranger. New in town? <laughs> I'm president. I'm going to pass a law against mornings. We sit around here in our Hawaiian shirts and red suspenders, thumbing our nose at the army, drinking home-brewed gin and flouting authority at every turn and feeling, oh, so superior to those military fools who kill each other and, oh, so self-righteous when we clean up after them. Well, good luck to you, pal. I hope you can keep it up. The minute I cut that rope, they made me a soldier. I'm working on hurt young people with essentially healthy bodies that have been insulted by ammunition. I'm a temporarily misassigned civilian. When are you going to shave off that cheesy <laughs> mustache? <laughs> Never. I like a little rebellion on my face. Rebellion is one thing. That's revolting. Well, I happen to love it. You're not totally lost. We're still in Asia. You said this was a shortcut. It is a shortcut. Look how fast we got lost. This is your lucky day. You're looking at Spokes Honeycutt. Mill Valley's finest surviving motorcycle rider. Oh, yeah? We got no problem. We got one problem. <laughs> you heard him. He's going to take those kids up that hill tomorrow and send them back to us in pieces. That man is crazy. That doesn't make this right. Some things are wrong, and they're always wrong. Hey, I live in an insane situation here. Except I have a lifeline. I'm hooked into a little house in Mill Valley where my wife and daughter live. That line gives me one tiny element of control in a situation where everything else is beyond my control. Well, I gotta go back to camp. They need me there, too. <laughs> oh, don't cry, honey. <laughs> sure, I'll stay. Of course I'll stay. 